Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make two delicious guiltless desserts. One of them is an alternative to an apple pie and it is low carb, low sugar, low calorie. It's so delicious. And then the other one is a protein packed Watergate salad. If you know, you know. If you've never heard of a Watergate salad, um, they just call it a salad, I think, because you throw together a bunch of delicious ingredients. It's not a salad, it's actually a dessert. And it's so delicious, but I figured out a way to make it actually nutritious. And like I said, it is packed with protein and it is so good. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so before I get started, I do have to give credit where credit is due. This first apple pie alternative comes from a woman named Tanya. I do not remember her last name right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and put her Instagram handle right here. And y'all, she and I eat almost exactly the same. Like we just try to come up with healthier alternatives to some of our favorite you know, fattening foods. And so like me, she tries to keep things low calorie, low sugar, low carb. So anyway, this is her um, recipe. I think she actually created this apple pie recipe herself. So let me show you how she makes it. Okay, so these are the ingredients that you're gonna need for your first dessert. Now this I picked up at my local grocery store, which is ATV, but you can also find it at Walmart. It's gonna say no sugar added, I think, instead. But this is the light apple pie filling. Um, I wanted to show you that each serving is a third cup and it's got 30 calories, it's got eight carbs, but one dietary fiber, so there's only seven net carbs, and there's five grams of sugar and zero fat. So it's definitely a better alternative to your typical apple pie filling. I just wanted to show you here that they also have it in cherry flavor. So if you prefer cherry pies over apple pies, then you're gonna wanna choose this one, and they do have it also at Walmart in the no sugar added version. Then you're gonna need some no carb or low carb tortillas. This is the one that I'm using. This is called Carb Counter. I just remember CC because these are my favorites. I feel like they're the softest usually. Then you're gonna need an egg. You're gonna need some cinnamon and I like the Ceylon cinnamon. It's just better for you and it actually helps with weight loss. Then you're gonna need some confectioners, zero calorie sweetener. This is made by Swerve. It's just kind of like a powder sugar. And this is optional. I like to put some protein powder in my apple pie, and this is the zero sugar protein powder by Muscle Milk. So when you open the can of apples, it's gonna look like this, and the apples are kind of big, so you're definitely gonna wanna cut them up a little bit. Okay, so in this bowl, I have my cut up apples. Now you're gonna wanna add some cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon. You're gonna wanna add a heaping teaspoon of this Swerve Confectioner's Zero Calorie Sugar. And I like to add about a teaspoon of vanilla protein powder. Then you're just gonna mix that all together. Now in the original recipe, she does add a tablespoon of low sugar yogurt to hers. I'm not gonna add the yogurt. I've never added the yogurt before, so I'm not gonna do it this time, but if you wanna experiment with it, you might, you might try it. Then you put your tortilla on the plate, and then you just fill one side of it with the apple and cinnamon and sugar mixture and protein powder for me. And you wanna keep the edges clean so it doesn't you know, come out the side. Then you're going to fold it over like this. I like to really press it down, especially around the edges. Then you're gonna take your egg and you are just going to coat the top of it with it and the edges. Then you're gonna take your fork and you're really just gonna press down all of the edges like a regular apple pie that you buy at like a convenience store. It's already looking so real, right? And then you're gonna to wanna to sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon over the top. And now I'm gonna stick it in my air fryer at 350 for about 10 minutes. Now, if you don't have an air fryer, you can stick it in the oven as well. I've made it both ways, but I do prefer it in the air fryer. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, so this is what the apple pie looks like right out of the air fryer. I did wanna say that if you're gonna put it in the oven, you do it at 350 for 10 minutes. If you do it in the air fryer, you only put it in there for five minutes at 350. So this is five minutes at 350. It did bend a little bit on the edges because my air fryer is round. And so, but anyway, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to top it with this zero sugar Cool Whip because you can't eat apple pie without Cool Whip, right? And I don't wanna add sugar, so this is what I'm going to put on top. Y'all, sometimes I will add a little bit of protein powder 
to my Cool Whip because it makes it taste like vanilla ice cream and it's so delicious. So that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this right here is my alternative to an apple pie. And thank you to Tanya for creating this recipe. Y'all, it is so delicious. Again, you do not have to add the protein powder. I just like to add the protein powder for added protein. Um, some people just do not like the taste of protein powder. I love it mixed with Cool Whip because like I said, it makes it taste like vanilla ice cream to me. And I love apple pie with vanilla ice cream. So this is it. I hope you guys try it and I hope you love it. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need for this next dessert. Now I know it looks like a lot, but you will be so surprised at how quickly you just throw it together. So the first thing you're gonna need is some vanilla yogurt. I always choose one that is low in sugar. This is not my yogurt of choice. I actually like the Too Good yogurt and I'll put a picture of it here. This one says no added sugar, which is great. However, you gotta be careful with that because this still has six grams of sugar, even though that's not a lot compared to most yogurts. It does have 17 grams of protein, which is awesome. And this is a vanilla flavor. Like I said, the other one only has two grams of sugar per serving. And so it's my yogurt of choice. Then you're gonna need some crushed pineapple. Now this one is optional. I just like to add protein powder to my desserts because it just makes it taste a little bit creamier. It gives it like a little hint of vanilla flavor. This is zero sugar and it also adds protein. Then you're gonna need a box of pistachio zero sugar pudding. You're gonna need some confectioners, zero calorie sweetener. This is just a powdered sugar and it's made by Swirl. You're gonna need some coconut flakes and some walnut chips. Okay, so first you're gonna add a half a container of yogurt. So that's about half a container. It might be a little bit more. Y'all, I don't usually measure anything. I just go by consistency. And so I just keep pouring until it's like the consistency that I like. So then you're gonna add a whole box of this pistachio sugar-free pudding. Now the original recipe just calls for pudding and cool it, but we're trying to make this a little bit more nutritious. And so we have yogurt and pudding. Now I like to add one scoop of the zero sugar vanilla protein powder. Then you're gonna add some drained crushed pineapple. You wanna drain it because you don't want this batch to be too watery. And I already had an open can, so that's why I'm using this. Now I like a lot of pineapple because I like all that added texture. Now you're gonna add some coconut flakes and you don't wanna go overboard because coconut flakes actually have a lot of fat, but you want just enough so that you have that added texture and that you know hint of coconut flavor. Then you're gonna wanna add some walnut chips. Now, as far as nuts are concerned, even though there is fat in nuts, it's a good fat and it helps your body, you know, to, to digest food and absorb nutrients. But, um, and as far as nuts are concerned, I wanna say that walnuts and macadamia nuts are the best, like the most nutritious. I do like to add some of this confectioner's sweetener just because sometimes yogurt can be a little bit tart and we're trying to kind of substitute the yogurt for the Cool Whip. So you still want it to be quite sweet. So I just add like a heaping teaspoon. So it looks like that. Now we're gonna mix it all together. And I just realized that I forgot to show you this and the ingredients as well. And this is just almond coconut milk and it's unsweetened. You do wanna add a little bit of that so that you get the right consistency because this is gonna be a little bit too thick. I would say that's maybe half a cup. Okay, so that is pretty much all there is to it. Now, typically I will just throw a lid on this, stick it in the refrigerator and my kids are welcome to have it whenever they want. I actually gave this to my son last night as part of his dinner and it doesn't even feel like it's a dessert because it's packed with protein and it's low in sugar. And to him, he doesn't know the difference. He's just thinking, mm, this tastes like a dessert. I always put Cool Whip on the top and of course I use the zero sugar Cool Whip. Y'all, this tastes almost identical to the original recipe, which calls for pudding and Cool Whip as the base. But because it tastes almost exactly the same, why would you not choose the one that's low in sugar and high in protein over the one that's high in sugar with no protein, right? So anyway, this is just a great alternative to one of my favorites. My mother-in-law turned me on to it because she used to always make it for Thanksgiving. And it was the first time I'd ever tried it and I just loved, I've loved it ever since. So I made, I created my own alternative to it and I think it came out just perfectly. So yep, that is 
another little dessert. I hope you try it and I hope you love it. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate your time. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. And if you're on spring break like we are, I hope you have a fun and safe spring break. And, um, and yeah, hopefully I will see you back here next week.